I'm Cheryl Kahn. West Palm Beach has a brand new parking system administrator and he says he's excited to be here. His name is Ed Davis. He's an Indianapolis native with nearly 20 years experience working in parking administration, most recently at Texas Southern University in Houston. Before that, Ed served as Broward County's Director of Parking Operations. He began his career in parking after retiring from the Army, where he served proudly for more than 20 years. I'm Ed Davis. I'm the City of West Palm Beach Parking Administrator. And what that entails is basically overseeing the entire parking operations in its many facets throughout the city, whether that's uh, on-street parking, uh, surface lot parking, and to include garage parking for the city. And how many garages, how many parking spaces around the city? You're talking about mostly downtown, or where are these spaces? Well, they're, they're spread out throughout the uh, uh, city of West Palm Beach area. Most of it's concentrated downtown. Uh, we've got over 1,600 parking meters on the streets throughout the city, uh, five different parking garages, uh, totaling about 23 spaces and a couple of surface lots of about just short of 200 spaces. And you say that your job is to be over all that, that you're over people as well as the app. Yes, I have a staff. What we do in a nutshell is we manage parking for the city. Uh, when I say manage parking, that means uh, revenue collections for all the paid parking areas to include uh, meters on the street, paid parking for transit parkers in the garage, permit parkers. Uh, local residents that have permits to park in our city garages. We manage that revenue, we collect that revenue, we get that revenue deposited into the city accounts. We also provide enforcement. Without enforcement, there is no parking system that uh, can be effective. One of my efforts are, uh, as challenged by the mayor, to, do, to bring more progressive thinking to parking. You know, I think that not only includes the advent of newer technologies that parking has in, in its area, but to also to give the officers, the information that they need to be able to inform our customers and, and the public on uh, alternatives, different parking locations, uh, information regarding how to use the meter, some things that are not you know, commonly known when you walk up to a meter. They need to be out there to be in more of an assistance mode than more so in, a, in an enforcement mode, so to speak. So you gotta strike that balance. And the information that the people need is to understand what are the limits and what are the policies with regard, with regard to parking and especially posted parking restrictions. So I want to be able to give those officers the, the tools that they need, information being one of the most important of those tools, to be able to provide that type of service to the city. So how do you accomplish that? Well, I think what has to happen is we have to get everybody at an understanding as to why we're out there. And I think once our public understands or are informed uh, of the details with regard to parking and why we're doing it and why the enforcement is necessary, I think they're, the frustration that they experience with can be minimized. Now you're going to have some that, you know, I mean, it's just one of those things where you just can't please everybody, you know, but you're going to have some that are going to be upset. But I want to be able to make sure that the officers that are out in the field understand how to deal with that situation and, and, and be able to utilize conflict resolution without actually causing a lot of frustration to the, to the person that's utilizing our parking. Now you've had a little bit of time to look around and see what needs to be fixed and what needs to be changed, what's working well. Mm -hmm. What do you think so far? Well, there's a, there, there's a few things that we need to change as we progress forward with technology and things of that nature. But I think the biggest thing that we need to do is put on a better face from the parking administration uh, department to all of our customers, that includes our city employees, our merchants downtown. We want to be more visible. And we want to be more visible in a way that they know that they can come to us and ask us for assistance and, 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 and kind of take away in their minds that the only reason they need to call us is, is when they got an issue or a problem with parking. Uh, I tell my staff all the time in the few meetings that I have is, is that we try to stop using the word problems and every time we have something that needs some attention, we look at it as an opportunity to excel. And so uh, what do you want to do next? What's your biggest priority? Well, my biggest priority right now is to reorganize, reorganize my staff to make sure that they understand that some decision-making processes are within their power, regardless of what level they're staffed at. Um, I can't do this by myself. Well, for I, instance, what, are, what can they do that they don't, might not know they can do? Well, to make decisions regarding uh, dismissals of some tickets sometimes. I mean, I realize that that can be a touch and go type of subject, but 
you know, we what we what we have to remember is we have to remember we were part of that same public that we're serving now. OK, uh, I want them to be able to understand that customer service is not just my responsibility. It's maybe my responsibility while I delegate the authority to them to provide the kind of customer service that they can formulate in their mind is the right thing to do. Because that's what we want to do, first and foremost, is the right thing to do. Now, sometimes that even means making concessions on what could be a misunderstanding of why someone's uh, parking payment uh, didn't get registered in the system or someone, you know, may have gotten a ticket where they feel it might have been unfair. It's just some judgment things that we have to use, you know. So going forward, I think I want that to be the biggest thing. Uh, my job is not to do everybody's job. There's no possible way I can do that. And as we spoke earlier, my job as the director is just that. It's no different than the choir director. But the first thing I have to do is to give everybody the opportunity to put their talents into the harmony that we're trying to establish here within the department so we can establish that harmony also out there in the public. No different than the choir director needing to understand, okay, you're a soprano, you're an alto, you're a bass. He directs that and puts them in place or give them portions of the responsibility of the harmony so it all comes together very well. That's my job is to make sure I recognize the talents of each one, put them in the right place so we strike that balance that we were talking about earlier. And you think it's coming together pretty well so far? I think it is. I think what I've gotten now is a buy-in from everybody on the staff. The enthusiasm is overwhelming. Uh, the fact that we're going in, a, in different directions is exciting to everybody, and everybody's now feeling like they're a positive part of this development to make this department a, a better place and so that the perception of the public sees it as not so much the enemy, as you will, but as the resource to go to when they need some help. And what part are you playing in the city's mobility study? Oh, we are absolutely a big part of that. We're working with the consultant firm that's doing that study right now. They need data from us with regard to parking meters, the number of spaces, just like you asked for earlier, uh, some issues that we have with traffic and things of that nature in order for them to make the correct assessment in order to uh, whatever their determinations are going to be, we need to be able to uh, implement those so that it does create exactly what you were just talking about, an easier flow in and out of the city, uh, a more walkable uh, place, a more pleasant place to come when you come to the city of West Palm Beach and not just be burdened, if you will, with traffic issues, congestion issues, and where do I go to find parking? So I think this study is going to give us some ideas uh, and some resolutions of some of the issues that we have right now. As for finding a parking space in downtown West Palm Beach, Ed says your best bet is to park in one of the city's five parking garages. This is Cheryl Kahn reporting for WPB-TV.